Oh, if only he was still alive, Inspector. You'd know how to stop these zombies. Zombies, you say? I just happen to be an expert in finish. Oh. Oh, my. Ah, oh, you there. Could it be? You've come to offer your services to me. Um. Yes, I have. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. <clears throat> my name is Nashu, agent of inquiries. Extraordinary ex inspector. And a well-dressed lady as well. At least, that's what I'm trying to be. It's not quite as easy as he made it look. Ah, cheer up, lass. You'll get the hang of it. Inspector Hildebrand was a great man. A real Eorzean hero. We traveled the world, me and him, solving cases and forting evil. Well, no matter the mystery, you could always count on the inspector to solve it with grace and style. But he's no longer around. But then there was the final case. The case of the century, he called it. How to stop the Red Moon from destroying the world. Um. To save us all, he flew into the sky and all I could do was watch. Wait, what? But then, then he came back down and he, he... Plummeted to his death. Gravity is a bitch. What? No way. <laughs> this is all a joke. A big funny joke. Right, Inspector? Any moment now, you'll burst out of the ground and shout, Surprise! I had you fooled, eh? And, and, we'll laugh and laugh. I can't deal with... I'm not dealing with this shit. Hildebrand Manderville, beloved son. Huh? They... They say... They say no one remembers the Warriors of Light. Their names, their faces, all gone forever. But I remember you, Inspector. No. Gentleman Hero, Hildebrand. Um... I can never be the hero you were, but I'll, mm, mm, but I'll do my best to try. She just, holy, f she did! <laughs> I, Nashu, Inspector Extraordinaire, will carry on your legacy. Lady, I think you might be biting, biting off a little more than you can chew on this. I, so I told myself, well, Nashu, there must be a leader, a head zombie, who tells the rest what to do. Therefore, all we need to do is kill him. Again, that is. Unfortunately, I don't know where he is or how to find him. But now that you're here, my faithful assistant, you can try the, uh, the one good idea I've come up with so far. If you go uh, to where these dapper zombies were last seen in southern Fanalan, you might find them. And then you could, um, uh... You could become their friend and ask them to meet their leader. Yes, that's sure to work. And it's not actually the, the idea I had in mind, but sure, let's just go along with it. Oh dear lord. I don't think I misread the map. Maybe they're just shy, though. I say we call out to them and let them know we are coming in peace. And when the leader shows himself, we strike! A gentleman is rather than does. Yep. That's this magic word. Uh oh. Uh, who summons the gentle dead men? I. They live. They live. And we. We hunger. I seem rather calm about the situation. My brothers, lend me your ears. A gentleman does not dine upon his guests. Huh? The <laughs> what the hell? Spare this fine gentleman and fair lady your mastications. Withdraw, I say, and harass them no more. 
Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. No, an air, it's an airship. No, it's the end of space. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we hear and we obey. Please tell me. I've seen that. Please tell me I get the dance at the... Not the most subtle landing in the world. <laughs> It is you! It really is you! I knew nothing could kill the great Inspector Hildebrand. Hildebrand? Who is this Hildebrand of whom you speak? My name is Zombiebrand, devourer of brains, undead overlord extraordinaire. What are you saying? You're not an undead overlord. You're a gentleman inspector. Uh, inspector, overlord, inspector... Overlord? Oh, Inspector, you'll just confuse this all. Don't worry, I'll knock some sense back into that noggin of your... What the? Ma'am, ma'am, those are explosive. Please do not consider those toys to be played with. Stay your hand, me lady. I, you know not what you do. Uh-oh. Even if I were the esteemed gentleman you purport me to be, the concussive force of the blast is more like to liquefy my- If crashing into the ground made you forget, then an explosion of equal force ought to make you remember. I'll save you, Inspector, or kill you trying. Ma'am, 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 that is not considered a medical procedure by which we take care of amnesiacs. Ma'am, please, I'm telling you, put the bombs down. Put the bombs down, please. See, you even you acknowledge the possibility that this plan will result in my- yeah, it was nice meeting. Uh oh. I don't think you have a choice! Death! <laughs> what was that face?! What was that face?! He's like, oh yeah, everybody get blown up. <laughs> oh god! Oh, he's V posing! What the? Oh, what the? Normally, I would apply your ingenuity, Nashu, but I would have preferred that you found a more elegant solution. Ah, he remembers me. Inspector Hildebrand remembers me. Yes, yes, I remember you, my faithful assistant. And what do I not quite? What I do not quite remember is how I came to be here. Oh God, no! Why does the echo resonate with these people? Um. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> Guess that wasn't surprise. Guess that wasn't true. What? Don't tell me the lightning. It's like you're looking back at a poor recording. <laughs> the most well-dressed undead ever to walk the earth. He just pulled a Bruce Wayne. <laughs> ah, such a wonderful dream. I slew a dragon and... Hmm, what is this place? And for that matter, who am I? Um, so, hold on, is this what I was thinking? They're well-maintained zombies, though. <laughs> They're like, this is, uh, you came to the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, the hell? Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh man, it happens to everybody. Welcome to the club. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, not again. <laughs> So, he pulled himself out of his own grave, lost his mo memory, and then he just got in added into the zombie I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, have awoken at last. I, I always knew you'd come back to us. Oh, God. Be it Red Moon or Black Dragon, no fiend is a match for my legendary might. And who might this fine gentleman be? Hmm? Could he perhaps be one of my many admi- Oh, but what is this faint tingling sensation in my arm? This ringing in my ears, this dizziness? Could it be a case? Oh god. Oh no. Yo, Wyman. Need some info. I take it you've dealt with that zombie problem, eh? So do tell, just why were they dressing up like dandies? Waymond! Hey, Waymond! Oh no. That old mighty bugger uh, me with a bleeding spear! The dead have risen and they have walked in the streets of old R! No need for melodrama, my good man. As you can see, reports of my death were greatly exaggerated. <laughs> why the. It's true, he's not a zombie. I checked. By throwing bombs at him. Ma'am, we need to discuss your methods of uh, medical examination. Hey, you do seem to be hale and healthy, which uh, begs the question. How in the seven hells did you survive that fall? Why question divine providence? What matters is that the Aorzeus champion has returned and that he, and by that me, I mean I, shall bring this thieving duelist to justice. Heard about that, did you? Might be harder than you think. Even I've got no inkling of that fellow's current whereabouts. Inconceivable! I refuse to believe that the ever-inquisitive and ever-ambitious, ever-reliable Wyman is about without a single shred of information, even one of dubious relevance. Hmm, well, I make no promises, mind you, but there was some talk of a fair maiden what said her most. This knave is older a young woman as well? The audacity! I should fly to her side at... Why, if it isn't a gentleman from Sagur from the Sagoli? A serendipitous uh, encounter indeed, unless you do seek the belligerent duelist. Capital! It will be invigorating to engage in a friendly battle of wits. Already the spirit of competition fills me. Come, Nashu, we must away! By the way, I do not associate myself with these people. Damn it, damn it, Hildy. I ain't told you the lass's name yet. Okay, I might have to keep going for a bit <laughs> longer than I was expecting. Wyman believes it would be best if you assisted Inspector Hildebrand with his investigation. <laughs> well, Duern, you might as well go after him. He'll be disappointed if you don't. The lady in question is named Yellow Moon. She's a woman with a taste for the finer things in life. Safe to say you'll find her getting fitted for something in the Weaver's Guild most every day. Hey, good luck with the inspecting, Inspector. Will do. Oh boy. My beloved pure heart was unlike anyone you've ever seen. Elegant, refined, the perfect accessory for any cultured woman. You will bring it back to me, won't you? A priceless possession, callously ripped from the hands of its owner. The lady weeps and the wind bears her sorrow to his ears. What gentleman could hear his this clarion call and not beg the honor of championing her cause? What in the world? I swear to you here and now, I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, shall scour the all creation from the deepest pits of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens for your pure heart. What he said. And you, my fellow servant of justice, I see your instincts are not to be underestimated, having guided you to this fair maiden's side. Now then, Miss Moon, what can you tell us of the theft? Thefts, sir, to be precise. My pure heart was only the most recent item to be taken from me. I... 
I'm certainly I had it when uh, I had it when I left home the other day. After I browsed the latest fashions at Sun and Silk and took in a match at the Colosseum, I realized it was gone. So the time and location of the theft are unknown. Essential details without essential details without which we cannot solve the case. But there is one one logical course of action, Miss Moon, to coax the hidden clues from your memories. We must reenact that fateful day's excursion to Sun Silk Tapestries. Um, yeah, I just met the guy. He's a bit on the odd. He's a bit of an oddball, but... Uh, we'll take care of this, ma'am. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, well, we'll bring that... Uh, that valuable piece, item of yours back before you know it. Wait, which when this thing gets pulled out is an insane. I love it though. How do you get here so fast? Miss Moon, would you be so kind as to describe your visit in detail on the day in question? Nothing unusual happened, but if you insist, I was pondering whether or not to purchase a new dress when a man approached me and confessed his undying love. What sort of man says that to a complete stranger, I ask you? Naturally, I was taken aback. I dropped my purse, in shock, not intentionally, on his foot, and he cried out in pain and fled. If I may be so bold, Miss Moon, that strikes me as a most unusual happening. In any case, it appears to be completely unrelated to the theft. Let us next proceed to the Colosseum and see what you remember. Um... Exactly what's with the crates though along with it? This is what I love about more modern MMOs. The much more physics effect on the armor is so much better. And armor in general just looks way much more in detail. At least when it comes to it's different layers. Well, getting back to the fun sh uh, shitsengu. Once again, Miss Moon, if you would be so kind to tell us what you remember. Well, like before, nothing unusual happened. I felt like gambling that day, and I w and was debating which, which match to observe, when a gladiator approached me from behind and confessed his undying love. Again? Naturally, I was taken aback. I whirled about and struck the man in the face with my purse, in shock, not intentionally. He, unfortunately, since I was carrying a tremendous sum of money, my purse weighed about six p score pound ponzes, and the blow was enough to render him unconscious. Damn! 120 ponzes? Miss Moon, you are a remarkably strong woman. Well, she is a Rogadin. Which is precisely why you were targeted. Oh, it's so obvious in hindsight. The thief bore you a grudge. No, it's more than that. He hated you with a passion. There sure are a lot of giant crates in Uldar, at the Weaver's Guild, at Sun Circle Tapestries, and here too. I've been noticing that, and those things came out of nowhere. These crates are everywhere, Dewan. I wonder what's inside, but I don't see how we can open... Ah, of course! I have plenty of explosives! Here, why don't you try? It'll be fun! Ma'am, we need to discuss your... Pension for uh, pyromania, for pyromancy, for pyrotechnics, actually. Jesus, why explosive? <laughs> oh, this should be good. There might be some people inside. <laughs> Perspiring man? The hell? At the heart of every crime rests a single unassailable truth, reached only by navigating a web of falsehoods and contradictions. Hearken to me now, for as a shepherd leads his flock, I shall guide you to my irrefutable conclusion. A gladiator professes his feelings only to be rejected and physically assaulted in response, wounding his pride as a warrior and man, resenting her prowess whilst recognizing his weakness, 
He carries out her more feasible vengeance. He robs Yellow Moon of her weapon, the Pure Heart. Inspector, we found the Pure Heart. These strange men sneaking around town in wooden crates had it. They wouldn't have uh, been uh, getting training from a guy called, uh, from a group called Foxhound. Have they? It's not what you think. We're not thieves. We're devotees. Yellow Moon is our sun and stars. We only wish to keep her safe from harm. And should she misplace an item from time to time, we'd collect it for safekeeping. Nothing untoward. You deviants were behind all the thefts. All this time you've been stalking me. What, what nerve? Ah, uh, such unbridled fury, such righteous indignation. We should be glad to accept the goddess's punishment. <laughs> goddess? Devotees? Uh, but of course! That I had you inspect those grades was a stroke of genius indeed. As I was elucidating, but a moment ago, those fiends are obviously the ones responsible for the recent rash of weapon thefts, as... Those thefts were carried out by a single individual, you imbecile. Unless you've forgotten, the culprit is a duelist. He only claims his victims' weapons after defeating them in single combat. If your powers of observation are as great as you claim, you should have deduced that though those buffoons in boxes were incapable of such. I should know. I'm a reporter for the Mithril Eye. My name is Ellie, and I've been investigating these incidents for weeks. In Inspector Hildebrand, gentleman investigator and agent of inquiry, I presume? You're looking well for a dead man. Would you like to meet one of the duelist's victims? I'll introduce you, with pleasure. You would be willing to share such precious information with me. Your generosity is commendable, Miss Ellie. Ma may this mark the beginning of a long and beautiful friendship. Yes, yes, very good. The name of the man is... Huh? Where in the bloody hells do you think you're going? I haven't told you anything yet. One more bit. One more! <laughs> this is so good! <laughs> Ellie. Uh -huh. Oh, well, uh, no. Having no other recourse, Ellie would instead tell you the identity of the victim. <laughs> I suppose you're the imbecile's friend. You intend to help him? The man you want to find is an adventurer named Humphrey. At present, he can be found at the Golden Bazaar. With luck, the, goal, the good inspector may find his way there by the time you arrive. If not, then so be it. <laughs> I wonder what will happen when he discovers that the victim is a perpetrator as well. In the Immaculate Deception. And it's not far from the place where he actually got uh, brought back from the dead himself. This should be good. <laughs> Is, he li is this guy, since Hildebrand sounds like nothing more than an exaggerated version of Sherlock Holmes, is it only fair to deduce that this guy is like his Moriarty or something? <laughs> At least I'm flying in there with style. Humphrey. I'm not good at doing all these voices to you. Hi, right, I'm Humphrey, and you are? <sighs> At last, I've caught up with you. You there, young sir. I am told you are a victim of the marauding duelist. Me? A victim? <laughs> How amusing. You amuse me. True. I was challenged by the duelist not long ago, but where he fought to find a whelp, he found a warrior of light instead. Aye, I defended my honor and my blade. See for yourself. You mean you won? That's amazing. <laughs> well, it was nothing compared to what uh, I face at the card now. Magitek to the right of us, Magitek to the left of us. Stuck in the middle with Master Lou, we were. Kor, he was a dab in hand with the, with the old magic he was. I tried to save him, of course, but there's a limit to how many giant beasties a man can... That man's no warrior of light. Oh boy. Tell them, Elazar. Tell them how he, lo how he lost and surrendered the sword that was not his own. 
Liar, scoundrel. I trusted that bastard with me father's blade. And I bid him f uh, take it to the smithy for restoration. Even gave him guilt to pay for it. Then he comes crawling back, sniveling and begging forgiveness for losing it in a duel. As if that's n n enough to set things right. Look at me, you bleeding horse son. Look at me. Me flowing golden locks are no more. I've got I've got both from the stress and heartbreak. I swear to everything holy that you'll face a reckoning if you don't bring her back to me. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I, he beat the shit out, shite out of me and took me uh, took the old man's sword. I used to guilt to pay the surgeon. I have no idea where he, he or the sword is. He's always so. What am I supposed to do, huh? I can't give him what I don't have unless unless you help me find the sword. That's what you do, right? Help people. Hmm. Have you no shame? First you claim a legacy not your own, then you beg others to help you with problems of your own making. You will refuse this man, won't you, Inspector? And what of Ayla's ours flowing golden locks? How will forsaking youth, young Humphrey, help the man he has wronged? Oh, for the love of... We shall begin our search for the sword by questioning the people of the Golden Bazaar. Uh, what have I gotten myself into? Abe? Antique swords? Oh, I haven't the foggiest about that. The traveling merchant Jajampa is the one you ought to speak with, assuming he hasn't left. I wasn't even involved in that fate, but sure. Lululo. That boy should be ashamed of himself, robbing poor Elazar of a priceless family heirloom. Just, to, uh, just goes to show you should never trust an adventurer who claims to be a warrior of light. Thieves and tricksters, a lot of them. Uh, it may not be the most honorable solution, but mayhap you should consider giving Elazar a counterfeit blade. If the deception brings him peace in his final days, would it be so wrong? Benager or something like that? Elazar's sword wasn't much to look at, but at least it was authentic. More than a few collectors have been tricked into purchasing counterfeit relics. Let's speak with this Jajonpa guy. See if he can help us out with something. But I prefer not getting a counterfeit though. Oh boy. <laughs> what is it this time? Oh no. Not this again. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of an ancient sword, at least not if one can, I can guarantee to be authentic. You see, my anywhere as I determined to be of dubious origins, I immediately discard in the spring east of Camp Drybo. Although I have no swords for sale at present, I may have disposed of a facsimile fas similar uh, in design to the one you describe. This presents a quandary, though I am loath to deceive an honourable man like Elazar. A well-intentioned ruse may put his heart at ease thus spurring the rejuvenation of his flowing golden locks, whilst we continue the search for the uh, genuine article. Well, if there's a sword in that spring, I won't, it won't remain there for long. It's one of the more convenient sources of fresh water for the common folk in Camp Drybone. You should endeavour to be more optimistic, Miss Ellie, like me. I say we search the spring first before declaring all to be lost. It's not going to be there, is it? Well, well, I'll see them there. What? I have... I'm still lost for words when it comes to this quest line. I had heard the name Hildebrand before from various people, but seriously, this is getting weirder and weirder by the second. Hildebrand. You're letting them do the searching while you're just standing there. Real gentleman you are. It occurs to me that I am not yet fully recovered from my accumulated injuries. It would not be prudent to immerse my body in water. You just don't want to get wet, do you? Not without first coating it with a liberal application of salamander oil, that is. Indeed, on so many, oca on many occasions, my dearest mother tended my childhood scrapes just so. 
Do you understand the importance of physical rehabilitation, yes? Then you can assist me by pouring the oil all over my body. I need to do what? Oh god, why am I agreeing to this? Ah, this comforting scent as though I am a child in her arms. Quickly now, before it dries. Knead the oil into my aching flesh. Excuse me? Ah, the rel- God, the pain multiplies many fold. Gently now, gently. Oh God, what the hell am I? I'm not a masseuse. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yes, at last. My muscles slacken and soften. The warmth spreads and the pain becomes pleasure. <sighs> I'm just doing some miming. Right there, yes, keep doing that, just like that, just like... Oh, yes! Now, what's more? With feeling! Let's <laughs> touch Hildebrand once more. I'll let this be the... Oh! It keeps going, getting longer. Just the massage, the prick. How is this helping us find the sword, you asshole? Ah, never before have I received such splendid ministrations. Now then, into the spring. You as well, my good man. Uh, muddy pebble. Oh god, what have I got myself into? Nope. Holy pot. I don't think we're gonna find a sword in there. Ah. Nope. A muddy bottle. Interesting. Yo, dude. Found something. Oh, I'm not sure if it's going to be of any use. You've been productive. Excellent. May I see what you found? A uh, worthless bottle, useless rock, and irrelevant pot shard. Oh god, now what? No sign of the sword Joe John mentioned, I see. Ah! Now I'm all wet. What was that, anyway? Hmm, did something cause you to... Well, we found a sword, at the very least. Once again, my instincts have guided us to our quarry. That I had you search that section of the spring was a stroke of... of <laughs> Inspector, it's bad for your health to conduct investigations in those clothes. I'll go to Uldar and fetch you some new ones. How thoughtful of you, Nashu. While you're there, purchase a few bottles of hair tonic for Elazar as well. The newest, most potent blend you can find. Are we sure this guy is a legitimate inspector? I'm getting the feeling like he's kind of... Uh, it is not wonderful, my friends. Soon all of Elazar's woes will be no more. Um, Forgive me if I remain a little skeptical about that particular statement. Oh boy. Yo, old man. Is he inside? Yep. As promised, I return to you your father's ancient blade. Aye, it is heard. Every chip and scratch is just as I remember. God bless you, sir. I never expected you would go to such lengths for two strangers without fool of reward. Altruism is a rare trait these days. Tis common enough if you know where to look. A gentleman recognizes the good in every soul and understands that none deserve to be forsaken. <laughs> oh no. 
Spoken like a true gentleman, though your garments beg to differ. Inspector, I thought you your change of clothing. I also brought uh, bought a supply of tonic from this peddler I met in Pearl Lane. Excellent work, Nashu. If you would just bring me that case. The old man seems rather happy. <laughs> Inspector? Inspector Hildebrand? There appears to be something lodged in my forehead. Could it be a missive from an adoring admirer? I sincerely doubt that. You might want to get it out before you start bleep. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm, the orphan neglected to pen her name. I shall come to claim the collector's blade. Is that supposed to be flattering? No, you. It's supposed to be intimidating. The duelist wrote this. He's daring you to stop him. <laughs> A challenge for me? Ho, oh, at last, the curtain rises. Very well, if I am to duel this, the duelist, I must dress for the occasion. <laughs> He's still <laughs> applying this ointment. What the hell? <laughs> no. <laughs> he, he made sure to have his own spotlight. <laughs> this is absolute golden. I, Hildebrand, agent of inquiry, inspector extraordinaire, accept your challenge. <laughs> he's he's incredible. So bold. So majestic. Just like a warrior of light. Oh, don't compare me to this, eh, guy? No! A gentleman of light! <laughs> <laughs> He's exceptionally something. Cool! Inspector Hildebrand! You look amazing! <laughs> He is way too much in love. Holy sh- The hell?! <laughs> Just some- Here's the brand. Um... This is far from the strongest. This is far from the strongest of swords. Blue, blue skies and the rolling desert. How much longer must I seek the blade of legend? So it's like two plots woven into one. Well, it's obviously what he is. He's got quite the strut, I'll give him that much. Like, he's got the biggest badong badong dong between his legs. Was that the whole thing? Um. Chan has accepted my worthy opponent. You should not claim the blade. With my, let us call it, it is, what it is, genius, I shall. Wait, you wish to duel with weapons, not wits? The bridge hardly seems appropriate for such an epic battle. Hildebrand will return in the free collections. Okay, well, I know what they're gonna uh, look out for then. Hey, I know that spear. That's the one I found buried with the pumpkins. Pumpkins sort of remind me of... Um, no, it's gone. Never mind. 
Um. Oh. Well, I'm gonna log out here because this is the perfect place to do that. Because this is something I gotta keep. Um, let's just accept it. Ellie wishes to share her latest discoveries with you. Perchance, are you you are curious about the duelist declared target? It so happens I have identified the weapon in question. The treaty blade is part of an Ishgardian noble's collection, or was, I should say. No, it has not yet been stolen. It has been purchased by an old Arn collector, the wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice it to say, it would be remiss if I, if my duties as a reporter were I not uh, to not investigate her. And should the duelist strike whilst I am present, well, I hope I needn't explain what a golden opportunity that would be. Ingrati ingratiating myself to her may prove to be the greatest challenge, uh, challenge, though I'm told she is a difficult woman to please. Fortunately, I'm also told that she has a fondness for rare flowers. The sword Tatusu, Tatusi in Camp Drobi, uh, Drybone sells. You can come along if you'd like. I'll buy that. <laughs> and then I'll do all that. I think this is at least a good place to actually quit the stream for today. It's maybe a bit of a short one, but... It took a while to log in, so I wanted it to be longer. But I think this is the player best place to, to conclude it. But my god, it's just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> so, a merchant. Ah, Tatusi. Oh, okay. Here you are, miss. Thank you for your patronage. Um, what's the love for money there? Oh god. It, it was you? Have you gone mad? That was an Amal Jar arrow in his back. I don't even know how to shoot a bow. Amal Jar don't shoot fleeing unarmed merchants. They capture and temper them. Not that you or your victim make for convincing merchants. If you're going to misrepresent yourself, put some effort into it. Wear gloves for God's sake. Uh, or at least don't wave your hands in front of my face. The calluses on your fingers betray you as a veteran archer. Doubtless you used your skills to great effect five years ago, as did your partner. So again, I uh, ask, was it because he took, you for, uh, he took from you your share or your sister? You don't touch a man's kin. You knew that, and yet he... he. Damn, and I thought he did it for the money. You too. He's all yours. Yes, of course. Thank you for your help, Inspector. Inspector? At least he's competent. But when did, when did investigating crimes become such a popular profession? It's not his job, you know. He's just He just likes doing it. He belongs to one of the Ishgard High Houses. Some say he's a baron. Not at uh, all like that buffoon Hildebrand, don't you think? <coughs> I try not to think about Hildebrand. We should get going. Lady Dorilda will not take kindly to wilted flowers. <laughs>